Hi everyone, this is Maruk K. Yukunitatsu. This is different from the other review I do. I am doing a review of a show. So I am doing season 1 of Hell of a Boss. It is an adult animation show on YouTube by Spindle Horse Studio. This show was an intro to me that one of my mods was telling me about. I like a lot of it, but I don't like season 2. I may do a season 2 review if it gets a season finale. For the main cast, Blitz played by Brandon Rogers, Moxie played by Richard Horvitz, Millie played by Vivian Nixon, Luna played by Erica Linebeck, and Stolas by Bryce Pinkham from main cast of Hell of a Boss. Okay, first episode Murder Family. It begins in the classroom with the teacher and kids singing a song about the classroom. Next, the teacher forgot that her husband's birthday is today. Then she finds out that her husband has been cheating on her. She killed her husband and wounded the other woman. Next thing you know, she kills herself in the process with a gunshot. Then it goes to hell and meets our main cast. Blitz the leader, Moxie the weapon export, Millie the brute, and Luna the wolf. So the teacher is now a demon trying to put a hit on the wounded woman and Blitz take it. First off, I like the animation of this episode. There are no big issues with it. Character design are fuck amazing. Every character looks different from each other. The story in this episode is very interesting. I will talk about it in a couple of minutes. Writing is more on the lines of an adult animation comedy. They got the human world to kill the whole family because of the bounty that is placed. Plot twist, this family is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre-inspired family. Moxie fuck up Blitz shot to kill the mother. Now Hunt is being hunted. So Moxie and Millie got captured by their family. Let's get back to the review of things. Sound quality is very good. Nothing is chopping and clipping at all. The soundtrack sets the scene of what is going on in the show. Back to the show. Now Moxie is tied up in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre-inspired dinner scene. He got out of there with a knife by fighting with those kids. Cut back to Blitz escaping from Mom in the forest. Then Blitz got a phone call from Stolas a.k. his boss to tell him that to bring the book that Blitz was borrowing to bring back the book. Then Blitz got captured after the call. Then next you know the dad and Mom did the classic two demon on a log salam which trial style. Finally Moxie kills the mom though the right eye. Save both of them in the fire. They want to go back to hell, but Moxie wants to do something to say to family. Afterward, the family got datery by a missile. Finally, they celebrate with cake from the bounty. Rating is in 7 of 10 because I love everything, but I want more of the story, character development from everyone else besides Moxie, and the dialogue is meh. The next episode is Low Low Land. It starts off with Stala's family waking up to Octavia by Barrett Weeb Nightmare. The Stalas start singing about how everything is okay in your problem. By the way, that was a flashback. We got the president chaos happened in Stala's house. His wife Stella by Georgina Leahy is throwing shit at Stala's because has been cheating on her. So Stala's wants Octavia to go to a low, low land theme park. So Stala's told IMP to be bodyguards for him to protect from imp assassin, no pun intended. Man Bryce Pinkham is very good at singing. The dialogue is much better than the last murder family. Plus animation is very good. Let go back to the episode. Then flashback to Octavia with Flish Troll played by Alex Brightman and Blitz as part of it as a clown. Next, Octavia left the building and Blitz and Fitzerali got into a fight. While Blitzing and Fitzerali, they did an arson move. Next is that Stalas and Octavia talk about how Octavia wants to be a baby all around and I want to grow up. The last part of the review on this episode is that the story got a lot bigger with Stella and Stalas fall into a divorce and Fizz and Blitz past getting into them in the present day. My rating of this episode is a 10 out of 10. Man is a lot better than Murder Family Home. Next episode is Spring Broken. At the start, the M squad are going to their van in a parking lot right next to their business. Then somebody stole his spot by a celebrity in this world named Verasica Play by Christina Valenzuela. Plus, we get information that Blitz has a sister. Also, Blitz had date Verasica as well. We got to see Verasica Bodyguard Vortex by James Iglehart. Plus, Luna has a crush on Vortex. Plus, they found out that Verasica workplace in the building is right next to Imp headquarter. Then Moxie said to people in Verasica studio to quickly down, but they didn't listen. So Blitz asked a challenge for how many Verasica she can fuck to Blitz and Imp member to kill people. Blitz has a game plan for everyone. During Blitz talk about the plans, it went into a different anime style of a doodle and school paper. I'm not saying it is a bad idea, but it is a clever idea for it. Then a fourth wall break happens that is exactly pretty good because it is part of the dialogue and a joke. The dialogue is pretty good. The animation is very good with the color of the shadow. For example, when Moxie was talking to Verasica studio member and in the human world scene. 
Then Luna went in human form to start the challenge, but Verasica beat the squad there. Then Luna started talking to Vortex between the challenges. Then more information that Luna was adopted formed some type of pawn. My favorite joke of the series is the Moxie Opossum joke when he is in the beer jug. During that Verasica whiskey flask in the ocean transform a fish into the anglerfish. Millie kills the anglerfish because Moxie is fucking drunk. So Blitz wins the bed of the parking spot and heads off to hell. In the end, Verasica and her crew got arrested. My rating of Spring Broken is 8 because there are not a lot of storylines or plot points and no character development. The next episode, Cherub starts in heaven with the Cherub and sings about their business. Cherub is played by Vivian Medrano, the CEO of Spindle Horse, Jaden Lebrun, and Don Daryl Rivera. Then head back to Imp HQ to say that Lupti Gupti, played by Brandon Rogers, wants Blitz to do a hit on a man. This man was a Lupti old business partner in an old fashioned animation. They are both very rich inventors, but they made an age machine to bring their age back to young. There is a problem. They didn't do the test first, and both of them age too old, plus Lyle dies in it. Lyle survived in it. So Blitz and Imp go out to kill him. They go to his house, and he is one step from heaven or hell doors, but the cherub came out to tell him not to kill himself. So the cherub shows him the beautiful world if he doesn't die. In the process, Blitz shows Lala more hellish side of things pun intended in different scenarios like malls and nature. So the review part of it, a lot of different styles of animation like the mall scene and the flashback as well. The dialogue takes a turn with it for bad with lame jokes in it. So head back to the episode. La was sent to a theater with the cherub to see the music and art, but let again imp trying to torture this person to die. So cherub started to attack them with their plans. It has a very cool fighting sequence in it. In the middle of it, the Lyle dies because of the cherub mistake. So cherubs are not allowed in heaven, and the mission is complete. That is the end of the episode. So my rating is a 6 out of 10 because I don't get a lot of story out of it. Character development and dialogue is met best. I am being truthful about my reviews. Let's start on next episode, Harvest Moon Festival. In the start with Stalas and Blitz in bed and Stalas are talk about how the Harvest Festival. So Stalas wants to go with them just in case something happens, foreshadowing. Plus, Blitz needs the Stalas grimoire for business. The group goes to the Wrath Ring to where we meet up with Millie Dad and Mom played by Edward Bosco and Sue Jan Chase. Side note, Edward Bosco also does Striker, but not in this episode. They both meet each other and talk about war strategy. Then the striker made his entrance play by Norman Reedus. They talk about business and freelance work. So they call the pain games about the roughest in this wrath ring. Millie can't play the games because the killing happened last year. Then Sally may be introduced by hiding a body. Sally May is played by Morgana Ignis. So Moxie tried to kill a pig to prove that he is tough, but he wasn't so the striker did him a favor and killed it. So the Harvest Moon Festival. So Blitz and Stryker are tied in the games. Then Moxie tries to list things about how he is better. Then the Stryker started to sing for his victory speech. So Blitz asked the Stryker to join Imp. Animation is pretty good, and the dialogue is very good. Norman Reedus is a very good singer, but this is the only problem. Just try down the distortion in the Stryker song a little better. Let's go back to the episode. So Moxie went upstairs to see a glow through a door. Then find out that there is a rifle to kill demon royalty. So the striker came in and came to take out Moxie and Millie at the same time. In very good fight choreography in the animation. Next striker traps both of them in the basement. So Millie talks to Moxie about whether he is good at guns. So the striker is about to kill Stalas, but blitz and ruin all of the fun. So the fight broke out and the striker got away and went good. Moxie got notified by Millie Dad about his bravery. At the end of the episode, Stryker was a hitman from Stella to kill Stalas for cheating. That is the end. So my rating of this episode is a 10 out of 10. From the storytelling, plot twist, music, fight scene, and character development is so good, man. The next episode is Truth Seeker, starting in the human world with two world government agents turning to plan how to take out Imp. Two world government agents played by Michael Ruacco and Erica Luttrell. So cut back to M squad in the human world for a job, but a sneak attack by agent and capture the Blitz and Moxie. While that was happening, Millie and Luna escape to hell. Vivi's show with Millie's character develops because she cares about love Moxie so much that she wants to go back to the human world to get both of them back. Then cut back to us government HQ to interrogate both Moxie and Blitz about where they came from and work for. 
I love the comedy in this scene with Moxie being a smartass about it and the kinky with their astrology signs. Then cut back to Luna and Millie entering the world government to save both of them. Next, Luna and Millie got spotted on cams, so the other agent knows that they are getting attacked inside. In a very good fight in this by animation and choreography as well. So the agents plan a gas on Blitz and Moxie to get something out of them, but no information about them questioning stuff. Then both of them are asleep, so it transforms into a song about the truth about their relationship on both sides. I love the different animations in this song. Moxie has a more gothic theme to it and Blitz are more doom style of things like Old Black Sabbath and Sleep. Then Moxie and Blitz both get character development that they tell the truth about Moxie hiring. Then Millie and Luna say both of them. Then transform into a badass fight scene of Imp versus world government and comedy, animation, and choreography. Then the lookdown happened, but in turn this episode got into a horror theme with Stala's ritual and red to back strobe's light. Then it ends with the government getting their information that they need. My rating for this episode is 10 out of 10. I had the same thing that I liked in the Harvest Moon Festival episode in this up episode as well. The next episode is Ozzy. It starts off with an imp HQ when imp came back from a murder. Next, Moxie said that Millie and him are going to Ozzy, a club in the Lust Ring for their first anniversary, so Blitz is trying to spoil their plans. So he got stuck with his plan to enter the club because there was no solo entrance. Next, Flizzafrolly came back to Mix and Verasica as well. Then Moxie came on stage to sing a song for Millie. Nice song about more high pinch that will be good but is in my opinion. Then got interrupted by Flizzafrolly and Asmodeus played by James Monroe Iglehart for singing about the main cast past and showing your wild side to people. The song ends with Moxie, Millie, Stolas, and Blitz left the building. At the end Blitz looks at his past that Flizz was his brother and shows character development in it. My rating of this episode is 6 out of 10. Very shocking, but I didn't like the episode. Got some character development and storylines, but that's pretty much it. The last episode of Hell of a Season 1 Queen B starts off with Luna inside of attacks going to a club in a gluttony ring. So Vortex came back into series, we still don't know that how the fuck he escaped. So Luna talks to some valley girl in the club. Then Queen B came out to the club as the host. Queen B played by Kesha Sebert of all people. I am actually surprised, no wonder this episode took too long. Then Queen Bee sings about how the only things you need are in this club. Fun enough, Kesha didn't sing this song actually, it was Rochelle Diamante. This song reminds of old Kesha and Fireworks by Katy Patty. Yeah, Kesha did all the writing of the song with Drew Pearson. Luna and Vortex talk to Queen Bee about being in the club, and a couple of lore drops with Satan and Belphegor look like. Plus Vortex and Queen Bee are in a relationship. Also, I forgot to mention that this takes place after the last episode. Plus, Luna wants to give a shot with Blitz in it. Cut back to Blitz is chugging a shit ton of beer. Both of them had a good time in the club. Couple minutes later, Vortex asks Luna to take Blitz out of the club because he is ass over tea kettle during that time. The Queen Bee is trying to take care of members of the club right now. So Luna tries to get Blitz out of the club. At the end of the episode, Luna drives him home to rest up. My rating of Queen Bee is 8 out of 10 for the same reason as the last episode, but with really cool animation and very good song as well. My rating of Hell of a Boss Season 1 as a whole is 8 out of 10. If you like the content I made, please sub, like, share with friends, and comment down on what I need to do next. My social media is in description. This K and I are heading out and having a good day.